Welcome to the fifth episode of Bambi Builds. Today we are giving our desert village a big update. We are going to completely transform the town centre and really set the tone for our desert oasis. Let's play Minecraft 1.20. So here is our current town centre. It's a bit dry and deserty. We have some functional builds already completed and one home for our villagers, but I'm not very happy with how it's all looking. And this sandy mountain is not a very inspiring backdrop. So we're gonna make some big changes here today, but first let's do the rounds and check in on the farms we already have. So we have an automatic crop farm that is run by villagers and we can trade most of that food for emeralds. Then we have an XP farm set up under a skelly spawner. We also have our cows all organized so we can easily get beef, leather and milk. So this is my house. I don't actually live in the village. It's a bit too noisy for me. So I live just nearby. Now I want our village to be a desert oasis. And I think I can create this using water, moss, clay, azalea trees, and a bunch of flowers. So I'm just prepping some materials here and then we can get started. So here is the before shot of our town centre and the first thing I want to do is add water. Here I'm creating a somewhat natural looking stream that will flow through the village, maybe sort of separating the business centre of the village from like the housing section on the outskirts. And now I'm removing the original well and replacing it with a pond and a custom made tree as our centerpiece. Here's a map of our village. We have our crop farms, our butcher shop and one house. And now we have our town center and I really want to focus on the gaps around the town center first. It's looking much better already and I want this space to be bustling with life. I want more space for the villagers to gather here and socialize. So the cows used to live in here so I can remove all of this now and really open up the space. I'm thinking a bakery will go here and it can be two stories high. So we'll have the bakery up here as well with some outdoor seating by the lake. And eventually I want a library that sort of climbs up the mountain to cover it up a bit. And then we're also going to add something in over here, some kind of market stall, I think, maybe a farmer's market. And I'm all set up here with a little construction corner. So let's get started. Okay, now we will furnish and decorate. Thank you. 
just love baking. I think the baked potatoes look like little bread rolls. We have run out of eggs already, so it's time to find some chickens. I'll just set up a temporary pen for them. So we have a little bedroom for the baker and then upstairs is actually looking pretty good as well. Now I'm decorating the outdoor seating spaces. Adding moss just breaks up the bareness of the sand. Wow, this is looking great. I love it. It does not feel like we are in the desert. I've added the bell to the tree, so the villagers should congregate here in the afternoons. Just lovely. And now for this part, I have a vision for my fresh fruit and veggie stall. I just need some white concrete and green terracotta. Okay, time to decorate.
So now I'm trying to recruit a new employee. So I'm just following him around and sabotaging his job search until eventually he is forced to come and work for me. I'm leaving a trail of breadcrumbs. Ooh, he wants to go straight in. Okay, that's good. Easy. We'll do the same upstairs soon. <gasps> yes, look at them all hanging out in my town square. They look so happy. I want them to breed like crazy so we can have this whole place just full of villagers. We are running out of beds, so I'll have to find some sheep soon. I also put some lily pads down for them so they don't drown because I hung the bell over some water for some reason. Okay, so I just lost about 45 minutes worth of footage, so I'll just catch you up now. I found some sheep, started breeding them already. I'll make them a nicer home soon, but this little pen was already here. Okay, now onto our first build, our lovely fruit and vegetable stand. I love how the farmer kind of looks like he has some freedom and he still has access to a bed. Though I had to remove the slabs up here so he could actually get to his bed. Over here, I still have my workstation set up, but eventually this will probably become like a pile of watermelons or something. I just need to get silk touch before I can do that. Oh, our iron golems. So they were spawning inside a giant hole under the walkway. So I freed them and filled in that hole. So now we have heaps of security guards just on patrol all the time. Now for our bakery. Oh yes, we have a village cat. Downstairs is looking good, and our baker is happy in his bed. Upstairs, I had to give this guy a mini bedroom as well. So I've moved the wall and made his workspace a bit smaller. The reason why he needs a bed and a door is because baby zombies could still get in here and attack him, but now he's safe. Out here, our seating area is looking lovely. Our next project will be the library, which will sort of climb up that hill there. Is that my camel? Oh dear. Yes, so I'm hoping to fill this whole area with lots of life. I just want villagers everywhere. So that's it, we are all done. I think it looks great. Next week we will work on the library and maybe even this last little corner here. I am really happy with how this desert oasis is looking now. Here is what it looked like at the start of the episode and look at it now. A big improvement. And now we have a clear vision for the rest of the village makeover. We will continue that in episode six. I hope you'll join me then. Bye for now.